Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicola and I'm from South Wales in the UK. If you're new, if you've been new before, then thank you so much for coming back also. Thanks for coming back to watch another one of my videos. Today, you might notice, is a Lidl and Tesco. Now, I don't think I've done a Lidl video before. I have shopped in Lidl before, but never really done like a full shop. But I thought what I do today is just pop in and get a few bits and bobs and just have a look at prices really, and have a little bit of a change. So I'll show you Lidl first and then I'll show you Tesco and tell you the total cost as well of everything I got today. So I think I did pretty well all together, but we'll see what you think now. So first of all, I had a big bag of 30 packs of crisps, which is a right bargain, I think, for £2.59. They're all the different like meaty flavours. So we go through so many crisps with like work and school and things like that. I thought they would be quite handy just to put in the cupboard and should hopefully last a bit longer than usual. Then the only non-food things I think that I got was this body wash with cocoa butter, 300 millilitres, was 95p. And then I got a hand wash almond flavour. This was 59 pence for that. I thought we would try some of the milk chocolate pillows. We might have done this a long time ago. Uh, these were £1.89, so they're dearer than Tesco, but they are twice the size, I think. So they're £1.89, £1.10 in Tesco's, but obviously works out better year now. So hopefully they will be nice. I'm sure my son will let me know either way. Uh, some of these bite-sized wheat shreddy kind of things then were £1.29 for a box of those. These easy peelers were on offer. They were around 76p, I think, and normally £1.19. So I thought we'd get some of those. Some crumpets then. Uh, Rowan, Rowan Hill Bakery. Six crumpets in each pack. 25p each for those. My husband was with me and he fancied having some meatballs with like some spaghetti and sauce. So got a big pack of these, £1.99 these were. Uh, so my daughter will probably have some of those as well and make a meal out of that. And then some of this roast beef topside, uh, that was £1.99 as well. So gonna do like a little dinner with some of that. Not everybody will will want that. Um, and then we got, some of these chocolate mousses were 85p for six of those. Four of these strawberry squeezy yogurts were 75p. Uh, this loaf of bread was only 36 pence, really cheap for that. And two croissants in the bakery section at the beginning were 39 pence each. So got those for my daughter. She is the main person in the house that likes croissants <laughs> and some oaty biscuits these are really cheap too i think they're around 40 pence something like that i'll show you the receipt at the end now but um that was good for those then some roasting potatoes just got a bag of these they were 75 pence i'm sure they were just to go with like the beef just gonna do a really quick kind of dinner um some people will have beef some people have pies some people yeah whatever and then a bag of these straight cut chips then were 95 pence for those then the chocolatey kind of things i got then was these peanut and choco there's six of those and they were only 59p so i thought that was really good these caramel bars were the same price 59p and the six in there too then chocolate wafer bars nine of those I think they were around 80p, 85p, and choc attacks. Uh, eight of those basically look like uh, Kit Kats, don't they really? And they look a bit like, oh, what they call it, blue, blue ribbon, is it? I think that's what they look like. Whether they taste the same, we will see. Um, but I'm sure they will be nice. And that was everything I got out of Lidl then, but I... I could have easily got more. I just was having a quick kind of dash around, but um, I just thought I'd see what I could get, really. And I only spent 
£20.35. There's the receipt for there. So the total was £20.35. I'll go slowly over the receipt now so you can see some of the prices. Oh yeah, the chocolate finger wafers were £75 and the chocolate wafer bars were £85. Um, but yeah, not bad prices at all. Or oh, the milk oaty biscuits were 55p. So yeah, so overall, that was not bad, I don't think, for them bits and bobs that I got in there at all. So I could have easily, could have easily done like a full shop in there really, I think. Um, yeah, so quite happy with that. And oh, they do do these little box as well. Um, so I just grabbed one of these on the way out. I don't know if there's any like offers. This is Thursday the 11th, which is Thursday coming up now because filming this is Monday the 8th. It's all like Christmassy and things. And yeah, they, I won't show you all of it now, but on the back they got like Super Weekend where they have different offers, don't they, on the weekend. So if anybody's interested in that. But yeah, I mean, my husband was just enjoying like the middle section of all these kind of bits and bobs. They have everything, don't they? All kinds of, oh, oh, this is my section, Christmas. <laughs> yeah, we'll have a little look at that after now. But yeah, I definitely will be going back to Little again and maybe doing a full shop next time. But I thought I'd just show you a few bits and bobs that I got. And then on to Tesco's. Um, I'll show you what I had and then at the end I'll tell you the total that it came to there then. So I had three lots of the six pint semi-skimmed milk, £1.60 there. Two of the chicken tikka breast slices, £1 each. Pack of these four Belgian chocolate eclairs, they were on the club card offer of a pound instead of £1.30. Pick these up in case my sons or my husband actually might like these. Hearty Food Co. look like pot noodles, but they're only 30p. So spicy curry flavour. They did have a different flavour, but I just got two of the spicy curry flavours. I got three hot chilli sauces. I'm going to make a nice hot chilli con carne tonight now. Um, it's that kind of weather now in here where you just want to have something that's nice and, you know, hot and kind of nice and tasty. So I'm going to do that tonight with some rice that I've already got and some potatoes that I got for you. Now, I couldn't find any actual jacket potatoes, but this is the next best thing. I mean, they're all rounder potatoes. You can do whatever you want to do with them, really. So I'll be using these for jacket potatoes. So some of us will have rice and some of us will have jacket potatoes, but I really fancy jacket potato with chili con carne tonight. I've got some rice snacks. These are really good, only like 60p, and it is quite a big box. It's 375 grams for like 60p for those. We've had those before and everybody likes them. So yeah, a lot cheaper than the obviously original Rice Krispies. Um, got a pack of the Hearty Food for 15 Yorkshire puddings. We're only, I'm sure they were only 50p. So that was really good for those. A pack of the Cream Fields Mild Cheddar, £1.79. And two packs of the mince beef, the Irish beef mince, £1.49 each for those. A pack of chicken pies, £3.20. Again, literally, there are two packs there. So I left another pack for somebody else. Wasn't going to be greedy. But what's happening with the chicken pies? Who's eating them all? It could be me. I don't know. But <laughs> it could be us. But uh, yeah, there's not many chicken pies around at the moment. So anybody knows what's happening? Let me know. <laughs> I am real, real interested in what's happening. Yeah, so... <laughs> um, no, I know nobody else really cares, but I do. <laughs> and then... Um, what else? Oh, onto the tins then. I got some spaghetti rings. These are really cheap. 13 pence. I mean, such a quick meal, really, if you fancied it, you know. Just fancied, like, a, a quick lunch. Literally, you could have spaghetti rings on toast if you wanted to, or something like that, couldn't you? So cheap, 13 pence. So I got two of those just to have in the cupboard. And then four of these Stockwell baked beans, 22p. And honestly, these are the nicest beans I've ever tasted. 
way nicer than Heinz. Honestly, wouldn't lie to you. They're so, so nice. 22 pence. So I had four tins of those and two tins of those. Miss Molly's cookies, literally like 30 something pence. Uh, six chocolate and milk crispy bars. They were 85p. And I think these were on the same, the six honey granola bars. These were 99p then, the brunch bar chocolate chip. Five bars of those. Jumbo Kitchen Roll by you was 91p. And then my Christmas thing, the best thing I got today was my Christmas thing for the week was these were on offer. And I don't know when it runs out. So I'm going to try and put this video up today now. So, I mean, I'm sure they're going to be, you know, on for maybe a couple more days. I don't know. I can't remember what day they changed their offers on. It could be tomorrow. I'm not sure. Um... But have a little check before you go making like a special journey. But these are two for seven pounds. So that is kind of, I think, the cheapest that they go, isn't it? I'm not sure if Asda ever do it any cheaper than that. But £3.50 each, you know, like it's something I could have done without spending this week. £7. But at the end of the day, we've got them now and it'll save us a little bit in the long run. So if any of my children or my husband are watching... Do not even think about opening these because I will know. <laughs> I will find out. No, I'm going to find a hiding place in my secret cupboard. As you know, I've got a secret cupboard. Never showed anybody, but I have got a secret cupboard that nobody knows about. And they're going in there. So, yeah, nobody's going to get a chance to open them. Not even me, because even though it'll be tempting, I know then I'll have to rebuy them. And that will be annoying. So, <laughs> yeah. But honestly, that is a bargain. So, we've got them now. And that is that sorted. So, that's the Christmas thing this week. I said I would start buying for Christmas again this week. And that's everything I had then today in Tesco's and Lidl. So, in Tesco's, I spent a grand total of £35. So, I haven't got the receipt. I don't know what I've done with the receipt. I'm sure I pressed to have it, but maybe I didn't. Um, that's the only thing now. Now you've got to press to have your receipt and sometimes you're just like trying to sort out your shop and you don't remember to have it. So, uh, altogether, you've seen the little receipt that was £20.30, something like that. So, all in all, I'd round it off to around £55 then and something pence. So, £55, say, and we see what I spend now when I do probably an excellent shop now in a couple of days because we will need some more bits and bobs of different things and yeah i'm quite happy with that because you take away oh did i show you the deodorant i don't think i showed you the deodorant just looking at that now yeah i needed some more deodorant this is one pound 45 if i have showed you just now then i'm repeating myself but <laughs> yeah so that's something as well that you don't have to buy every week um but yeah so take away that seven pound everything else as I said, £55. I'm quite, quite happy with all of that. And, um, yeah. So, I hope you're all okay. I hope you're all getting excited for Christmas now. I mean, we had a lovely bonfire night. Didn't quite go to plan because there was a lot of traffic on the motorway and things. But we did. <laughs> we ended up some, seeing some fireworks, but it wasn't the fireworks that we were trying to go and see. But we all had a nice time and we all laughed about it. So, that's the main thing. So, I hope you all had a nice time and whatever you did but now it's just christmas isn't it that's all i can think about now is that's all i've been thinking about for months anyway but definitely now is christmas and yeah i mean have you seen any of the um christmas adverts that they got on at the moment um oh the disney one is amazing if you've seen the disney one that is so so good it's more like a, a little film it goes on for quite a while but it is so so nice and Marks and Spencer as well. Um, I think it's like Dawn French, isn't it? It's the little like fairy on top of the tree. And Percy Pig is in there and everything. Yeah, but I'm not keen on... I'm sure it was the little advert that I wasn't very keen on. It kind of like goes into the future and things. It didn't seem overly... I like really Christmassy kind of adverts. Uh, but that one just didn't seem... They had a turkey in there and a Christmas tree, but it just didn't seem overly Christmassy. Um, 
I can't think what other ones I've seen now. I haven't seen yet. I hope they're gonna do one. I do love Aldi. It is Aldi, isn't it? With Kevin the carrot. Um, I love those adverts they do. They're really, really funny and really, really good. And obviously the Coca-Cola, when that one comes on, you know it's Christmas happening, don't know. So <laughs> do you like any of the adverts you've seen? Um let me know down below and if you couldn't care less then no don't worry but like <laughs> if you do it's just yeah it's just i just love seeing it's only time of year i actually like watching the adverts but they got some really good ones at the minute anyway let me know what you've been buying for christmas and if you're all now after everything halloween and bonfire night if you're all getting organized now for christmas have you got your tree up yet when you put your tree up i don't know whether to put it up this weekend come in which will only be like the 14th or leave it until the 21st what should i do not sure but i need to have a good clean of the living room and things like that first and kind of like you know just do a bit of a, a tidy up and stuff first so i don't know have you got yours up let me know down below everything it doesn't have to be about christmas but as you can tell i'm excited so <laughs> if you're still here at this point you're probably gone after i said the total of the shopping but if you're still you then say um percy pig <laughs> and i know some of you have actually stayed till the end so thank you so much and if you didn't then that's fine but you won't even know that i just said that because you've gone but <laughs> take care and i will see you all very soon bye